Did you watch Love is Blind? Well, I, yes, you always ask me this. I am an overachiever. Just keeping people accountable. Okay. Show. We have a friend. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mike. Hey, friends. I came out from behind my cubby over there because I got some things to say. About Not Love is sure. Blind? Well, Love is Blind. And, and my favorite and, show. And Joan. Yeah. I got Joni. a couple of things to say about Joni. Mm. Yeah. Did you watch Love is Blind? I did. Didn't watch you it. watch it together? I watched my first round in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's what happens around here. This is a learned behavior okay. yeah, because we'll start a thing and then I'll fall asleep. We'll get like an episode and a half in, right? Yeah. And then I'm out on the couch. Yep. She keeps going until... Because fuck all that. Yeah, who knows? That's, that's rude. You it's, should stop. If he didn't fall asleep every single time, <laughs> every single time. Uh, there's a couple of times I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I and then and then the next know. day. So then we never know where he ended off, and he we play that game. And I'll be like, nothing even happened here. Just start on this next episode, and then he'll go, I don't know what's happening here. I don't know who these people are. I'm scenes. like, it was episode one. Interval. Nobody knew who these people yeah. were. <laughs> episode one. That's the entire setup. It's foundation <laughs> building. Yes, exactly. But he always says, I really feel like we've missed some integral scenes, integral and I'm like, scenes. trust me, you I've haven't. already watched it. You haven't. But you, your definition of integral scenes and my definition of integral scenes are are highly different. Because you're skimming and two screen in on your phone doing what the kids are doing. By the doing. way, then it can't, by definition, be an integral. Then neither one of the scenes you guys are talking about yeah. could be integral scenes. Because if it's integral, it means like if you don't have this screw when you're putting together this Ikea dresser, it all is going to fall apart when you slide the drawer closed. That no. is an integral screw. Yeah. Everything is important. Everything means it's something. It's not. Every, everything's story. not important. No, who has time for that? And maybe also if you stop putting so much emphasis into like the scenes that are very much not integral at all, maybe you'd have the stamina to stay up through the entire 40 minutes that it's on. These are like integral. 48 to 52 minutes. Integral. Go on. It's an adjective. Necessary That's to make British. a whole complete. Essential or fundamental. So why would you have a 48 minute show of nothingness? Believe me, no. I've been asking them that all the time. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's the show is nothingness. I'm just saying that every listen. scene is not fundamental. See, this is the other thing: is you guys listen to podcasts. I like to watch a podcast because I need to see a face. I need to see your Who expression, your eyes. I need to see what you're. Is you, are you getting a little sweaty? What happened? Are you wiggling now? I need to see all that stuff. I need to see it, and I have time. Do you actually <laughs> want to know why, Mike? has the time to sit and watch these things. Yeah. Because Mike's not cleaning the house or doing the laundry or the dishes or grocery shopping or driving to get the groceries. Time out. Or, no, <laughs> that's completely, you. that is, that, no, no, no. That that is that an is, integral part of this motherfucking podcast. It is, but that no is one the truth. drives to get groceries anymore. What, uh, where, where are what we are you on talking the Brady about? Bunch? <laughs> Listen, yeah, I, I don't drive to get the groceries, but it does take me just as much time to find them online because I'm looking for the cheapest of the cheapest I of do. everything. Listen, all goddamn day long. I just did my whole like, oh, I'm getting, I wanted to eat salad. So oh my she's God. Like, cool, oh my thing. God. I can't even believe this. You're going to bring up the literal. I think, I think I can, I can no, count on can one you, hand, this, this like half a, of one hand, how many times he's earlier. ordered the groceries because he goes on a kick. Something, uh, and then you interrupt me trying to, thinking that I'm going to say something next. staying, just that point. That's fine. But like, <laughs> first of all, I've never used Instacart. Second, like to pick or fruit. Yeah. I like to be with the people. I like to go in and listen. I understand. Pick, pick my, my food. melon. I don't understand. Be with the people. I love Fuck people. The people. I love people. You Except know. scammers. Yeah. Those Sorry, are people. guys. I'm cranky. Someone tried to scam me. <laughs> Even though Natalie said none of this is making it into the episode. We don't know. We'll see. What's quippy? <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Then let's get into Love Is Blind because I have tears to cry. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I just I have a sick kitty. Oh. And so it's making me so womp womp. But yeah. anyone who's an animal lover knows when you have a sick animal, it's the worst of the worst. I thought you meant I you have, have tears to cry for Love is Blind. Oh, no. I'm just so happy it's over. I know. Besides Taylor and Garrett, it was really just like it, this, it was a tough season for me. And just the way, like, they, how they owe us nothing at this reunion. They owed us nothing. And, I mean, well, they, they told us they owed us nothing. And I just want to say, you think you don't have to explain something, you do owe me something. I fucking pay your salary. I don't know if anyone has gone and checked to like what Netflix has gone up to because I've been like a, a year one subscriber yeah. when it was like four ninety nine. It's not four ninety nine anymore. No, <laughs> it's like obscene how if, much it is. One more reason to be with T Mobile, free Netflix, 
free Apple TV, free Paramount TV. Do you have to watch ads? Nope. Ad free on all of that? Because we have ad free everything and it is gargantuous. Yeah. If you guys get a family plan on T Mobile. Yeah, I've got T Mobile. T Mobile's the (laughs) best. It's but not good when we them. when we go yeah. to Arizona. It's you can't even use your phone. No, I can use my phone in the zone. I have to send all of your oh, photos. Oh, you're right. But I didn't have service even with AT and T, and they. But were, I have AT and T. I just have Verizon. Have, I always have service. Not Unless at my I'm on the moon. Not so you, at my house. You can't be online and on your phone at the same time. I can do whatever I want. Nope. No, you, you actually can't, can't do that. Yeah, with can. Verizon, you cannot do that. And by the way, you don't have service at my house. That no is the number one reason I changed. Yeah, house. no. You're like you everyone's have gotta have priorities yeah. in line. Like, of course, you I need needed service the at my house. Service at your T Mobile works at your house? Yeah. It's the only phone network that works yeah. at my so house. She had Chains to on Verizon. Do it. He gets a dick all. Yeah, I can't talk to anybody unless I'm in like one square of your driveway. Power outage, no internet. I'm streaming TV straight yeah. from my phone, and it's a hot spot to my fucking iPad, laptop, et cetera. Yeah. But no, I really do love the T-Mobes for so many reasons. But anyway, okay, I have my list of things I need to talk about from Love is Blind. Good, go for it. I have no list. I just am real mad. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I just, starting from the top, Monica's abs. Oh, yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, you could grade cheese on them. They're, I just, that's the things that dreams are made of. Yeah. I missed her abs. Oh, I, well, I don't know how. How? She her dress. They no, were like no. on full. I think I was more worried about uh, Alex or her gems coming out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like those things. That's a no, lot no, of No, no, no. That stuff's in there. Does she have fake boobs? Like, I don't think so. I think those are real. She didn't fidget. She wasn't ever. I, I never caught her once yeah. like doing a. No. Um. T- did you notice Tim got the chilliest reception? Yeah. I mean, he sucks. So I get that. But like America doesn't care about Tim. Yeah. Well, because he, he's a cheater. No. Oh, oh God, Mike. God. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Wait. No, you <laughs> asked to be put in the game. And yeah. Coach, he ain't ready. Listen, I didn't ask. Um, <laughs> Tim's the one who professes undying love to Alex, whose dad has got MS. That's right. I bet that this guy is a great friend and a horrible boyfriend. I think him and I would be good buds. Uh, when a woman walks in the room, his emotional intelligence drops to like a 12-year-old. They say when something really traumatizing happens to you when you're yeah. younger, you basically stop growing yeah. at that age emotionally. Yeah. How old was he when his sisters... Did they die separately, right? I'm going to go out on let me say 12. Yeah, when he was young. I, I don't know how old they he did. was. But they it, died separately. Yeah. But when he was that young? He wasn't a full-grown adult, no. The next thing that I would like to get into is the sperm babies couple. What is their names? I can ne- never remember their names. Ashley. Are you a fan either? You, now you <laughs> no no, but I have no. I'm sorry. No, hold on, hold on. You've never been able like, to remember I, their name. Thank you. It's Ashley and Tyler. Uh, see, I did remember her name, Ashley and Tyler. Yeah. Listen, here. Can, can I just tell you my spiel on them real quick? Yeah. Okay. Their whole thing is that we talked about this stuff off camera. Mm-hmm. So when we were having the conversation on camera, yes, it looks disjointed. It looks like I didn't ask a lot of questions. Or, you know, when he was saying that, like, I don't know if they know what I look like. It's because we had talked about this off camera. I knew all the answers to all of this. He had scratched every itch I had on this subject. And I was okay with it. And we could move on. And we didn't publicly want to bring the kids into this because they didn't sign up for the show. Great. Fine. I see. (laughs) I'm cool with all of that. I'm not. What I'm not cool with is then tell us that. Because there's this saying in the theater, when the lights go down, everyone's IQs go up. And the audience is smarter than you think. Mm -hmm. So we're all at home being like, the math is not mathing here. Not at all. This is all a very stilted, weird conversation with lots of gaps and not really like the most organic of responses. And so... I think it's totally fair to say that you don't want to bring the kids into this and they didn't ask to have any of this. But then, and I get that hindsight's 2020, but this is a big fucking deal. This is a show about getting married to someone and making them your family. And you ostensibly already have a family. You have Mm -hmm. three children out there. So this is going to get brought up. So all you need to do, this is just a lesson to everyone, I guess, that's going on reality TV, is cut it off at the pass. And if he just said, I was a sperm donor to a very good friend of mine. I don't want to talk about any of it on camera because these kids didn't ask to be on Love is Blind, but I will answer any of her questions, my soon-to-be, you know, Mm -hmm. wife. I will answer any of her questions offline. 
so that she feels satiated and that's all there is to it. Fine. Mm -hmm. Listen, would I like more details? Yeah, because I'm into the show and I like all that stuff. Sure. But like, I respect the fact that the kids didn't sign up for the show. It's like, I watch all the housewives shows. You can't talk shit about other people's kids and you can't bring them on into your drama. It's just not cool. They didn't sign up for this shit. They're under the age of 18. They're not adults. Like I just, I'm not cool with any of that. So I respect the fact that he wanted to, uh, protect these kids, but I just think they went about it in the most cockamamie way. Well, it's, he lied. He didn't tell her she lied. She did not know all that shit. Because let me tell you what you don't is ask. Is this a conspiracy or we know this for this fact? This is a no. conspiracy. This is a conspiracy. Okay, just just disclaiming. Disclaimer. This it is, could totally this is be me using my head. They probably had that conversation off camera. He yep. probably did tell production, like, listen, I'll bring it up, but, like, this is weird, and, like, they're not signed up for this, and honestly, it's a kind of a fucking weird story and weird thing that, like, yeah, I did this one thing, but then... That lady left and then we fucking became friends and then we might have banged and now like I could see how he didn't want to talk about it, but maybe he got forced into saying something weird like that could very well have happened. This show gives me the sense that the producers kind of do care about their contestants, which not I'm not saying reality people don't, but like. A lot of times it's more about the show and the commercial breaks that, you know, and, and these people seem to care about like people's feelings and this process and whatever more than any other of the love shows or dating shows. So I'm, I'm buying it. And then the second thing is like he said, or like she said, who do you think knows more me or the internet? Um, you said the internet and maybe you're right, but like it's between <laughs> Bitch, them. the internet. If she's fine with it and she knows everything now, then fine. Totally. <laughs> yes. They can tell us however they want. But are you trying to tell me that he told her in the pods? No. Be- yeah. Hell no. no she no, did not he know. He told her when they were living together exactly. in the apartment yeah. off camera. But still, I don't even think it was before the question. Hey, you don't you believe didn't- him when he said that he told her all this stuff. In the pod? knew all this stuff. On Hell no. Absolutely. He didn't say he told her in the pod. Either way. So I'm just like. I think he did. I don't know if he said that. It doesn't matter. I don't think he did, but okay. He says he has this kid. First of all, he's naming this one sperm kid. I know that they already had that conversation, but the question of, do the kids know what you look like? If you're planning to, okay, we have to recreate the conversation that we had. You're not asking that question. Do they know what you look like? Because then you've just set a trap for him because he's not like, like unless... He was going to tell the truth and say yes, which if 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 he if he wasn't going to tell the truth, why are they rehashing? Like, why do they like we're going to find out in minutes, in, you know, in days that that's not the case. I feel like any question is like it's that thread that you pull that unravels anything because there is no question that you could ask him. Right. But like you could say that's a cut and dry answer. They're telling us right now that there's a kid. Which, again, still a lie because there's more than one kid. Yeah, there's but, three. Yeah, there's fucking three. Um, but you don't, like, she played herself. She found out little bits here and there as he wanted to tell her. But that conversation that she's trying to now pretend was a conversation had on purpose because she knew about it already. I don't believe that that is the question that, like, you tripping him up. First of all, she may have asked other questions and editing is editing. There's that. There, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Also, any question she could have asked, do you have a relationship with them? Do you spend time with them? Do they know you? Do they know what you look like? Have they met your family? He's damned if he does or damned if he doesn't. But they're telling us about the kid. They're telling us that this kid exists. Yes. But then he's still going to lie about something so dumb. Like, like... Where you would have to be the dumbest, the most ignorant person on earth to think that like we aren't going to find out within minutes. And her whole thing was I couldn't keep going. This is what her I I thought that it had to be a a natural what did she organic experience. I I knew that I couldn't lie and it was going to show on my face. So like, why are you telling us anything if you're going to lie about something that like. You're on Instagram. Listen, it's a muddied situation, however you slice it. 
let's say that they are full out lying, then Mike is right in the sense of it doesn't matter because she's been with him for a year and she clearly doesn't care. This does not bother her enough to end it. Right. And hold on. And if they're not lying, then they really rolled this business plan out in the worst way possible. Yeah. And they should have just said, we had a crazy conversation last night and it has to do with you being a sperm donor for three children. Exactly. And we don't want to talk about it on camera because these kids didn't sign up for it, but all America needs to know and the world, because it's a global show, is I'm cool with it. Yeah. And let me put it another way. He, let's say he did fucking lie. Let's say he lied the whole way through the pods because he didn't know how to talk about it, didn't want to talk about it, they didn't sign up for it, whatever, 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 right? They fell in love. This whole thing, every, every once they met, these two, like, obviously there was a thing with those two and a thing with Garrett and uh, what's her name? Taylor. Taylor. She would always look at him like, she had this look on her face like he's too good to be true. Like she's she yeah. would never fully. She was like, this is going to bite me. In the ass. This motherfucker is so perfect. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's the processing that she had to me the whole fucking time. And yeah. maybe everyone did. But she no, had we all, I think we all looked at them and being like, they're still together. She seems right or die to me. Yeah. She's she. So, and I said, I said, she really, really is in love with this guy. So no matter sure. what he did, they're still going to be together. Right. Let's say he wasn't completely forthcoming with all this information for his own personal reasons. Then once they're in Cabo, he's like, listen, I, some shit I got to tell you. <laughs> like all the kids. Yeah, no. So this is what really happened. And I didn't tell you. And this is why I didn't tell you. I didn't want the kid. And, da, da, da. and she was like, fuck, man. That's OK. I totally understand. I have feelings for you. That totally makes sense. That fucking tracks. I get the sex and you got, I get it. I get it. It sucks, but I get it. Right. Uh, cool. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. So either way, <laughs> she's fine with it. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But don't fine. come out and say, first of all, don't go. Let me just say, who do you think knows more? Me or social media? That's insulting to my, in, my intelligence. And then maybe 30 seconds later, say, see, that's the thing about humanity. They don't get shit. The things that they don't know about, they don't, they don't understand because it's not in their everyday. You're into, I'm, I'm human. You're human. I, no, we do understand. This motherfucker had kids. <laughs> that's not hard to understand. Like, people totally. date people that have been in previous relationships yeah. that have children. This is not something that, oh, I don't know. I'm too stupid. Thanks for explaining it to me, Ashley. But put it a different way. I just think like I did. I think that she was I think that she just did a really shitty job. I thought you were smarter than that. You seemed smarter than that to me. The whole rollout was dumb. And then you treated us like we were dumb because you were dumb. No, if they're fine with it, I really don't care uh, just on the level of like, OK, fine. Like if it doesn't bother you, it's not going to keep me up at night. What's keeping me up at night is I need to know the actual story like. I did you have sex with this yeah, woman? He said that. Or who no, said he did that? not. On no, the reunion they didn't even. They, they didn't, didn't even bring, bring up the who two. And that? so Was then that you TikTok that told you. The talk to? told you. Yeah. Of all the people on that panel who had some shit to deal with, who handled it perfectly? One person on the whole the whole night came out and did his thing. Absolutely. Oh, nailed it. my guy. And who? everybody else who? fucking flumbered. Like so, it's not easy. To make amends. It's Who not did it easy. perfectly? Leo. Leo, dude. Nailed Leo his apologies. Nailed it. Fucking so nailed it. So respectful. Yeah. Nailed everything. How, if you, but like, uh, what my point is, it's hard to make amends in real life. It's hard to say I'm sorry. It's hard to do all those things. When you're on a TV show and then everyone in the whole world just rails on you, it's probably a little bit more difficult to then come and be like, yeah, fuck I, it. You I agree that. with you, but I do have a note about that because I... And I don't know if we're getting to Leo now. But no, no, no. Like, I need to oh, go okay, back please. to just what when Tyler came out. I mean, I just like Tyler's every the single one with the abs. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is not time for a joke. I'm fired up. I can actually feel the heat coming off my head. Jeez. Could be the lights. <laughs> I require a lot of lights. <laughs> Tyler comes out and like just his like their whole thing seemed like how many times did they did they rehearse that? And they still fucked it up. But when he says those kids, that family, they didn't sign up for th those kids, your kids, 
That family? Your family? But see, that's what I need clarification right, on. Be, 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 Did he... Hold on. Because this is this really is a, a line of demarcation here. If he was a sperm donor, okay, mm-hmm. and just gave the juice, and when the partner left, he wanted to step up and just help because he was being a kind person, that's very different than I put my D in your V and we had a child from a sexual experience that is very different than do- right like, than donating sperm to a couple right. that then use your sperm to have three children right i did not I've, hear this like not in real, but like i think he said it i think he was like this was one of my best friends i they her and her wife needed a baby i s- decided to sperm donor one gave them a baby yeah. and that lady left her i s- was around to take care of like help take care of the kid we got close we had sex. He said no, that. She no, had say that. no, she, she didn't say that. Then where are you just making I up TikTok. integral scene? No. TikTok. Matt showed you the video from TikTok. I'm sure I showed you. His baby mama went on TikTok and said he gave us sperm. We used it for our first kid, and then we had sex, and I got pregnant with twins. Correct. If I didn't show you the TikTok, that just means you watch our show. <laughs> That's probably what it is because we've already talked about this. Could be. Look at you. Oh, He's usually over there in the producer chair, but like with a fucking head a earbud in watching golf yeah. on the iPad. So we've been shooting on Mondays, so it's been football, Monday night football. Whatever. But. So well, this is our football. So pay yeah. attention. Look alive. <laughs> so he says that. And then he also says, I've spent holidays with all my friends and their kids. Um he, the kids you had with your friend? They're not your friends and their kids. They're your They're kids. your kids. But this I is why I played a role with my friend that became very shaky, and there's no rule book for this. Oh, the rule about dads pay child support? Because that's my theory as to why Nick and Vanessa did not ask them uh, anything about the second kids. I think this dude is in a lawsuit for back child support. Because I have read that he owes like $30,000 in back child support. So I have a feel because there's no other reason. Well, I have another theory. <laughs> I got two theories about that. One, I, They could both be true or just one could be true. But I think that, you know, when you're in a lawsuit, you cannot talk about any of those things yes. that are going to incriminate you. Because there is zero reason why they would not bring up these two other kids. They were in all the photos. Everyone knows. The mom, the grandma, uh, the ex-wife. The like the sperm donor, the moms, the like like everyone has spoke on this. Like it it is what it is now. So if you're not bringing it up, it's because you told the producers. If you ask me about this, I will walk because I I can't. I'm in a lawsuit. It. Yeah, I'm just looking it up because looking up the child support thing, not the child support thing, his kids thing. Yes, I watched the reunion. That was so disrespectful, and Bri is very upset, very upset. And that hurt my feelings because he said those things like, like he was not their father or like he was not in their lives or like he wasn't at the hospital cutting an umbilical umbilical cords on the twins. I just, I just, I just felt that was a new low for even Tyler. Okay. Do you want me to send you this video? I have it. Oh, you have that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not on the talk, as I've said before. I, Get on the if, talk. I believe that woman. I believe Bri's yeah. mom. And it's not like she's the only one telling this story. The baby mama is and the ex-wife of the baby mama. Then here's what's happening. Ashley doesn't give a good goddamn. Mm-mm. She either believes whatever story he is feeding her or she knows the entire truth and she still doesn't care. Either way, or she's got her head in the sand. Doesn't matter. She is there. She's backing him. She rides for this dude. She said it on national television. And he is a shady MFer. Because here's what I know and about now life. she's married to him. So what he owes, she, she gonna owe. So Correct. she's going to ride even harder and be like, listen to me. And she's going to go back and forth with him. Rehearse this shit with me. This is what we're going to say. This is what we're going to stick to. This is, we're going to fucking come out strong and be like, who do you think knows more? Like all those things, you're insulting us because you're fucking scared. Life is not that confusing. Most things are a straight line. They might be painful. They might be uncomfortable. You might not like what's going on, but one plus one equals two. Okay. We're not in some alternative universe with alternative facts. Okay. Water makes things wet. Fire is hot. This is where we're living. So for Tyler to sit here 
and try to word salad this situation into making him not look like anything other than you are the father, yeah. Mori Povich style, is a bag of bullshit. Mm -hmm. And it's insulting everyone's intelligence. Yeah. It's rude. It's a waste of time. I get it. You wanted to find love. I'm not hating on you for that. No. You wanted to be with a dope girl. Ashley seems like a dope People girl. People with kids are allowed to find Correct. love. <laughs> but you can't put yourself on a national platform mm -hmm. and open up your life and then cherry pick certain things and either say I'm not talking about this at all or say I have children. I love them dearly. They didn't ask to be on this show. My partner will know everything that she needs to know about them. And that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. But don't lie about it. Don't piss on my leg and try to convince me it's raining, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's that was the whole thing. Because you remember what I said last episode. I said, I don't care. I have two things I'll be happy with for this reunion. I want to see Ashley come in principled, whether it's I, I'm going to tell you everything. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, I didn't know. And like, but here, here's where we're at now, yada, yada, whatever. But like, be truthful or the principle of I've made a decision. I'm fucking writing for my dude. Yep. You could do that without insulting your audience and telling them correct. that we don't understand. Like, it's a very simple thing. A million people have been in relationships that they are yep. no longer in and there are children. And I do respect if this if this story is true, that you were the one that confronted the situation of I know that I was not the father in the first kid because I was donating sperm and I agreed to not be a part of their lives. But if we're going to have two more kids together now and your ex-wife is now no longer in the picture and they don't have that second spouse, it's going to be a little funny for yes. me telling these two to call me dad and this one to not. Correct. So like, I, I love you for knowing that and saying, I would like to let all three kids feel equal. That's lovely of you. That's about it <laughs> thus far. That's about the only sign of humanity <laughs> that you've shown. Yeah, honestly, I'm so over them. Yeah. It's just, it's just annoying. It's like right, either be you on the show, be truthful, this. Yes. or say, I respect the fact that you You don't want to like, talk about it. Yeah. Yes, I have kids. Their life is their business. I respect that. What I don't respect is the lying. Yeah. And making don't other make people feel stupid. crazy. Okay. Well, you want to go to Marissa and Ramsey's? Yeah. I'm just looking at my notes real quick. What did Nick say to Marissa that I thought was so great? Were you being funny? Because Nick was a nightmare. Disaster. No, Nick was a nightmare, but I thought he said something to Marissa. I fuck. I think oh, Nick had Oh, Nick Lachey. Yes. That's who you met. Yes, yes, okay. exactly. Thank you. Sorry, too many Nicks. Okay. Which, but did yep. you really love it? It was totally like when he said, when Nick Lachey says, you, uh, I love your energy, you're perfect, don't change for anyone, whatever. I, I feel like her her almost, I feel like she almost said like, I, I know that I wasn't going to. Like, no, like Marissa wasn't going to change her energy. She's never felt like she was going to, like, I think Marissa has always known, like, the, like, I mean, yeah, she was hurt, but I just, I think that he overplayed his hand yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, No, I think he did also. I just do like that he did take that moment to just say something. Yeah. Even though I get that it was scripted and all that shit. Because I know, just from experience in my own life, like, when you're dumped, you're embarrassed. Yeah. And so I just think it was nice for him to be like, listen, no one up here thinks you're crazy. You're too much. No one's ever going to love you because you've got so much energy. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> You're never going to love Marissa because she's too much energy? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm already in love with someone I'm spending my life with. But <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, listen, Rams is, is a fucking idiot. Flash dance, as I like to call him. He knew that she was a lot, and he went in anyways. And, like, you should have known, dude, you're, that that wasn't for you. I was telling Natalie, like, <laughs> like some people are just super energetic and yeah. a lot and i could see meeting her and going home with her and having amazing sex and waking up in the morning to breakfast and uh, everything kind of perfect and then coming back a few days later and having amazing dinner and more tons and tons of sex and then and that probably goes on for a while and i'm like fuck this is this is great and yeah. then you then you spend three or four days together you go on that vacation and you're like whoa you don't ever stop like you never shut off like I can't do this. Like, I can't do this. And thinking that you can, thinking that that's all you want is like someone who's going to have sex with you all the time and take care of you and, and just d have everything dialed. Um, and then, and then just 
being like, no, no, it might be too much. She might be too much. Yeah, so but like, she's not too much <laughs> as... <laughs> She's too much for him. For him. That's why I like that Nick Lachey was like, just for the record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, wrong his, with his you. problem was that he, I think he knew that. He, like, it's hard to tell that when you're just talking, like, uh, you know, she was uh, who she was in the pods. But, yeah. like, this show's crazy because you can truly fall in love with someone just talking to them through a wall. I think, I, I think it proves that point all the time. She was too much for him. I think he probably knew that sooner than later, or he probably should have known that sooner than later. <laughs> what? He's just uh, he's I'm just immature. Her. He just doesn't know anything yes. about anything, and he thinks he knows a lot. And if you just didn't know anything about anything, and you were just Nick, and we're dumb, and like, yeah, I don't know about anything, and then I'd be like, okay, you just don't know. Anything. But he thinks he's fucking the smartest guy. In the room, that's what I said last yes, week. Yes, exactly. Ramses thinks he's the smartest guy in any room, and he ain't. Mm -hmm. she's got a lot of energy the way he phrased everything down to his last moments on the reunion was like there's something inherently wrong with you and i knew if i spent my life with you every day i would be exhausted yeah when he says Excuse i will be exhausted it was going to exhaust me yeah i knew my energy would be depleted yeah. and i would be exhausted every day how about this buddy i get that you guys are two different people that have energy levels that are vastly opposing okay fine you're not the first couple that's ever had this you ain't gonna be the last mm -hmm. but you don't have to say it that way you can just say i just realized that we have different temperaments and we're more, i thought we were more alike than we were and we really aren't yeah and so i just want to call it so that we can both find the people that are the lids for our respective pots. Yeah. You don't have to shit on someone when you're ending it. There are some people who are couch potatoes and they want a lap cat, a dog that doesn't move, that's basically a breathing stuffed animal, and that's what they want. And then there's other people who are adventure seekers. Yeah, and like Jenny. Going, Jenny's always going to have a big ass dog yep. that can go she up and down trails marathons. with her. Yeah. She, yes, there yeah. are people that are going camping and that they want an adventure cat. They want a dog that yeah. can literally be their leash, but you don't need to make the dog that wants to lay on the couch all day feel like an asshole yeah. because that dog wants to lay on the couch all day. Ramses, someone is going to meet Marissa and be like, you are everything I've ever wanted. You have the energy to keep up with me and life is so interesting and fascinating with you and you have all of these goals that you actually see through. What, Ramses, I don't even know what you do for a living. You're like Chandler on Friends. You're a transponster as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> that's right. Tran 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 transponster. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's what you do for a living. And it just, I just don't like, especially if you are the one that caused the heartache, if you don't have a modicum of, of empathy to treat this person like in a fragile manner because you just shit on them on national TV. And don't say, if I spent the rest of my life with you, I know every day I would be exhausted. That's such a shitty thing to say. Uh, Cause okay, she's supposed to turn around and be like, I know if I spent the rest of my life with you, I would never be fully sexually satisfied. No, you don't say that. You just say, we have different love languages and I want him to get everything that he wants out of life, which is a partner that's different than me. Yeah. You don't have to say it the way he said it. That's what irritated with me at the end of the day with him. Totally. And he still didn't get it by no. the, even, even like what I keep going back to is that there's been a year since this thing ended. Like you have gotten obviously to have seen yourself on social media and how everyone hates you. Anybody with half a brain would not then decide at the reunion, I'm going to, again, because he didn't bring up it, the word exhausted the first time. He he said something else yep. that was like equally as bad. Yep. But like, then you basically did the whole thing over again. After she just told you, I just had to relive our entire breakup yep. and she can't even stop. She can't even say one full sentence without, without crying. crying. And uh, and so you're you're gonna now use the word exhausted, which is like okay, great, thanks for the third time around. And you don't wear a fucking fishnet shirt with the thumbs cut out that are going like you're like a fucking gymnast and some weird striped big pants and a big double breasted jacket with these big brooches. Like lay low, homie. Like chill out, say nothing, apologize. I will. I hope you keep your social media. I want to see where your life is in 10 years. It's going to be fucking nowhere. You will have gone nowhere. And I want to see Marissa's life. And she's going to have 10 different businesses. Yeah.
like the beautiful flower she is. I just, I also, when the mom said, I talked to him, even though I wanted to punch him in the throat, it was the one time with the mom, I'm like, well, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm actually not mad at you for saying that. Not that violence is the answer. I'm not ever violence saying Violence is the should. answer. If you're that it mom, not. that guy could use a little violence. I think that guy could use like a, a, a therapist that just straight talks to him morning, noon and night. Like some people need just need to get their asses kicked. Is it wouldn't he fall in that category of some people just need to? Get a oh, Ramses definitely needs a punch in the like just a little. <laughs> well, then in the great words of J Lo, you can stay here and get your ass beat, or you can stay here and get your ass beat. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know she said that. Oh, I meant J Wow. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> this is what Rod Thornton said. Remember when the, that guy was being a dick to his wife at that resort, mm -hmm. and he goes, "You can get your ass beat in front of your kids, or we can go over there and I can beat your ass." These are my dad's wrestlers. <laughs> And, he t and the guy would not shut the fuck up. And so he had to fucking take him out. <laughs> what did he do? Wow. <laughs> yeah, when he tells us, because he's also Wah -pow. real Southern. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I know. By the way, uh, again, violence is never the answer. <laughs> it's the answer for it, wrestlers. It's not. But sometimes <laughs> someone just needs a swift kick to the nuts. Yeah, I guess, fuck around, find out. I, I just think it's he's obnoxious. It would take some self-awareness. It would take awareness of anything to even hear any of this stuff all uh, but you, just from him walking in and in just simply the attire he walked in in like you just it's like going to court you wear your black blazer your white pop a collar like you just you yes, go you in and you like don't draw attention to yourself yes. and no that guy could not do it but i think this is why i was so frustrated with the entire season this felt like the tone of the entire season even you know a year later we're at the reunion i just felt like there was a lack of of growth and accountability on so on many people's them, really. behalfs. Yeah. And except for Leo, I actually felt Leo's like the Leo best. nailed it. He's single but this ladies. Is why, hey. <laughs> but this is why it's I, so Does he have any money though? I don't know if Leo. <laughs> I know. Money. He might not be I able think to he's support anyone. Broke. He yeah. doesn't really mention it much. But like, this is why my life's motto is own it and you're free. Yeah. Because no one came off douchier than Leo in the first round of that show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now no one besides Garrett, but Garrett was never in any trouble really. Yeah. Looks more like a hero than Garrett, uh, than Leo, because he just stepped forward and he was like, wow, I had no idea. I sounded like a real D bag. I'm so sorry. That's it. No one is expecting you to change overnight. No one's expecting you from going from the to go from the dumbest guy in the room to the president of Mensa. I don't even know if Mensa has a president, but my point is no one is expecting these vast changes within someone. We just want you to say, "Oh my god, that wasn't cool." And I'm definitely going to be doing better there. Be and and I will say Hannah was trying, but she just let it go, ho. You're beat, okay? Everyone's telling you you're too sharp. You're nasty to him. You said the craziest stuff to him. And I get it. Nick's a mess in his own right. But let your side, handle your side of the street and let him clean up his side of the street. So if you came out, Hannah, and just said, I have so much, and she said it ish. She, she didn't full bore go for the, I messed up. No, she started. She and then started, she started to and roll then, back. Because Nick started being a fucking dumbass. But and this she is my like, point. You it could even see it happen. She no, was you like, saw I'm it. fucking you lose my shit. And then her buddy click. was like, this shit. and she's like, yeah, no, you're right. I'm sorry. I was mean to you. And he was like, well, I'm fucking bloody blah. blah. And, then, and she's mm -hmm. like, all right, dude, you want to fucking go? Well, let's fucking party. And she, she snapped and she let him have it again. So I think she started. Those were her intentions. That's my point. And then he pissed her off and she... Fucking was but old habits die hard. He didn't say fighting words though. It was when he said, and Hannah, Hannah's fantastic. Because yeah. here's the thing Hannah's on to Nick. She's been on to Nick yes. from the jump. I'm sure she wanted it to work. There is some competition in this show. There is yes. a, a thing of like, no, I can do this. I'm going to see this through. It'd and you be want so to be the fucking success great. Story. You want to get married. It was when she saw that he was going to be the hero again, being so kind and polite. And then doing his whole, and Hannah, she's just, because he's gotten all the love on the internet. Everyone's praising, sucking this guy off all day long. It's embarrassing. These women that are just flooding his socials and saying, king of the world, Nick, you deserve a bajillion dollars for having to 
hang out with this monster for the last however long. In in every language, 10,000 times over, I can't even, if you've never checked out their social side by side, spend 10 seconds in each of their comments. You, it will, you will be appalled at the bias of yeah. it's, it's, it's barftastic. <laughs> She's like, fuck that. Totally. No, I'm going to tell you what I read in your notebook and let every, let the cards fall where they may. Cause she's going to get a lot of shit for going through his things, but the whole, well, she didn't, her friend did like in, in her defense. Oh, okay. I think well, either way ended up and like, she didn't say, Hey, put that away. But I think her friend was the one that opened it up. Well, that was a story that she gave. It doesn't matter because she aired his dirty laundry yeah. on the show. Yeah, She's the and one who his said explanation it. was so stupid. I, I put my 90-day goals after the 90 days. No, no, no. Let's, what's today, November 1st? Yeah, he put it in there, and 90 days from that day was two weeks before he went It's like thing. post-dating something. So it's got to be done by reverse. that day. What? <laughs> Okay, say that's the case. It wouldn't have been. They hadn't left yet. So it couldn't have been accomplished by that day. It was two weeks before they left to go on the show. Or Right, that's why his goal... So his goals were, you know, to sell the two houses, get in the best shape ever, yeah. and be the most famous person on Love is Blind. And he put the date as whatever, September 28th or whatever it was. Right, but it was before they left. Right. Exactly. So you, my goal, I could be going to the Olympics and well before the Olympics start, my goal could be to get a gold medal at the Olympics. That's what he was saying. I, so is a due date or it's just a, no, no, cause no. the 90 day thing, either way, the 90 days makes no sense. If it's, if you're putting it on there, like in 90 days, I want to accomplish something. It couldn't have been accomplished by then because they hadn't even left yet. If you're putting it on the last day, or if you're putting it as your 90 day goal, yeah, then fine. you're like, then I think like, it's semantics and I don't think yeah, it matters because it's, it's a silly because goal, it's, anyways. That being said, either way, then they don't work. Whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. He's still a douche yeah, for like, right. all of this. But is, I I think just, our- I'm just, it's one more thing back to the Tyler Ashley thing. If you're going to lie, fucking lie. Like, spend five minutes figuring out what the lie is and if it makes any sense. Where I really thought he, he and he might have been lying about that also, clear, like, if Ramses is the voice of reason and looking like the good guy in a situation in the context of this show, you're in a bad spot, yeah. bro. And so when Ramses looked at him and was like, everyone has a time where like they need to just be honest. And like maybe this could be a redeeming moment for you or however he phrased it. Because he's like, we all, you did talk about the fact that you didn't think she was attractive and she was a five out of a 10 and she maybe you didn't say the word grenade but you were like she's like that thing that you pull the pin out of and it blows up like you said it okay yeah. and i think two things can be true at the same time i think hannah could have sat there and said i the way i speak to people is not cool i'm working on it 100 percent." and she could have just let that lie and then when they got into nick's stuff and he wanted to like play the hero again. And so he could be America's sweetheart, be the most famous person on Love is Blind or whatever his goal was. That's when she could have come out and said, you know, it really did hurt me when I found out about all, found out all the things you were saying about my physical appearance and how turned off you were by me. And that's when she could have had a redeeming moment if she just approached it from, like if she just took hers and said, yeah, I was an asshole, but also so, like, you you can't you can't apologize and say, but. Do you know what I mean? So my point is just say, I spoke to him in the most gnarly way. This is how I speak to everyone, and I'm working on it in therapy, and I'm going to do better, right? Mm-hmm. And then just button that up, put it away, and then we can deal with the next thing. Right. But she didn't do that, and that's why she, she ended up. She didn't do that because she's a human, and we live on planet Earth. And, like, that doesn't exist here, especially anymore. It's so rare, and if it did exist, then we wouldn't have reality shows to sit and talk about because there would be no drama. Everyone would be progressing. Everyone would be apologizing appropriately. Everyone would be working on themselves. It's like, well, maybe, maybe that's that the world great. I would like to live in, Mike. Sure, we would all like to live but in But by the way, world. people are... I'm, what I'm saying is not like, oh, I'm asking you to walk to the moon right now. You're absolutely capable clearly of you, being in control of your emotions and but, not treating people like not, shit. But maybe not, because how many people were up there? Four that's like couples, saying I have diarrhea of the... Sorry, couples. I have diarrhea of the mouth. Diarrhea of the mouth is not a real ailment. Okay, like, figure but out how like to button up. it's not like saying diarrhea of the mouth. It's like saying... 
some people are not good <laughs> at apologizing and taking uh, uh, accountability? accountability for their actions. Some people don't think that they're doing anything Great, wrong. Great, then that's a reason why you do something. It's not hey an guys, excuse, and I don't she accept She apologized that. 1,500 ways till Sunday. I watched it on every podcast imaginable. She said... I was horrible. I have reached out to him. I have talked to him. I love him. I'm so sorry. I know I'm worse. Yeah, she I'm did not even all of the things. Oh, yeah, I'm not yeah. even what talking she directly did about at the Hannah. reunion. Yeah. She's been in a living hell for however long. The second that those episodes got released, she has been just tortured. She had to think this whole time, how do I... How do I get a handle of this? How do I expose this guy? Like I think that he has been mega calculated from the get... He has turned my fucking life upside and down. No one's disagreeing with you. You're yeah, 100% I'm not disagreeing with right. You. And Courtney's saying but the I, way I'm, she should have handled I understand, it is XYZ. But not, not if your I'm goal is, is to expose sure. this person. No, I'm saying she could have done both. That's what I'm saying. Two things can be true. She could have behaved badly and just said, so sorry, I'm never going to do it again without exhibiting that behavior towards him again. Because it's like, it's like when you're having an argument with someone, if some guy was having an argument with you and he's like, right, because you're just a dumb bitch, it's like, right, now you've just lost the argument. Right, you yeah, me a okay, dumb bitch. there you are. See you now. Exactly. So who gives a shit what you think? Th that's yeah. exactly right. And what I'm saying is Hannah had really good points and she was right yeah. that he did talk smack about the way she looked, that he did have like that shady note about being the most famous person on Love is Blind, which make, begs you to then think were you here for the right reasons did you actually care about me i would have it opens up a whole can of questions right yeah. so she could have brought that up in a way where she wasn't still portraying this know-it-all tough angry you're stupid i'm always right you're always wrong persona yeah because she her point was so right and she had all of the evidence on her side yeah to make that point and i just am saying i think unfortunately she lost a little bit of steam right in yeah. making her point because she's saying it and like because you're a fucking asshole nick and it's like right nick acted like an asshole if you want to get your point across and want america to hear you you can't speak like that hannah no okay that's so my I, point i understand what you're saying then i totally understand what you're saying then i thought that it was like you wanted her to just go in and be like my bad I shouldn't have done that. And then like what I was really hurt about, you know, this thing or whatever. And, and then like, and I'm learning to communicate. And I'm not saying this is, this is how Courtney would have said it. If Courtney was Hannah, like I realized I was awful. And clearly I have gotten this note from my best friend, from my family yeah. members. We all saw it on TV and I am in therapy. Like I want to be better. I am doing better. And like, it's actually been a gift. Nick was like a good teacher for me because now I see, like, I got to improve here if I want yeah. certain things in my life. And I do, right? Yeah. Period. Okay, so yeah, that would have been the, the perfect way to go about it. And then I see what you're saying now is that she can't because she's human. And that's just how the cards fall. Like when you're in, unless you've been fucking media trained. If she's in therapy, she could have just said to her therapist, hey, I want to bring this up on the reunion. What's a way for me to do this and land my point and stay you know as calm as humanly possible i get it we're humans i fucking lost it on you know many a ups help help lines this yeah. past year okay like i get it but she's on national tv she's trying to like clean up yeah, her yeah, thing I'm, yeah that's my point right and so then i understand what you were saying was that you were you're saying that like yeah i'm sure it'd be great if everyone could do that but they're human so it just doesn't really work out that way like and that's why we yeah, have a show like and, it's, yeah it's yeah. why there's reality tv shows because like a it's just hard to do that in real life when the whole world's watching you or the whole country or whatever tv's dead so like when there's five hundred thousand people watching you every week it's even more important to act well i understand that but like I, i'm just that's saying just like jesus being like you guys should act well yeah i got it jesus but I got fucking emotions and feelings <laughs> and this motherfucker's getting one up on me. So I'm going to lose my shit. Yeah. I would love to be in control of this. But, but this you mother are in control of it. To say Courtney, not, just me saying what I said not. about Ashley to camera. I'm cutting most of that out just so everyone knows. <laughs> but like I didn't. I had a perfectly good fucking argument about how she came in. And I just I'm like, my head is getting hot. 
Have you never like, snapped? That's, like, have you never gotten to the point and where then you been like, I can't believe I, I, I really went in here with a different intention and it just didn't work out that way? Uh, 100%. But every time I've snapped, I would stand by it and I'd be like, look, if that's what, like, then that, then, like, that is, I, right. I back that. So I might not go out on a limb and say Hannah is standing by but, but everything what, that but she you said. But what you're saying is you, sh- you should have never snapped. You should have never lost your temper. You should have been no. cool, stuck calm, to the and plan. collected and stuck to the plan and said what you needed to say to this thing or person or or action that made you this way. That's what you should have done. No, it what is. I'm saying is that Hannah has a problem with anger and how she communicates with people. And if she is trying to land the point that I am working on this and getting better, you can't walk him into his point that he's making. I'm saying if Hannah wants to show the world that I am working on this part of my rage, then you can't be rageful towards someone and land your point. That's my point. Yeah. She seems so much worse to me though during the season. It's like this time she actually had a reason that we all could see. During the season it was just like he doesn't know how to do that. I don't know, his mom didn't teach him. I like there was there was like some room, but he the way that he came out and when when that when she brought that thing up about like I know you were talking about me and he said his first thing was I never not once called Hannah anything said anything about Hannah in a derogatory way like the way that he said that and then the second that Marissa says well I think that uh, I'm not the only one out here that knows that or Nick said so that that's an accusation she's like well I'm not the only one that knows it there's a lot of people on this couch and he goes he suggests immediately maybe we should take a poll maybe or we maybe we should do some fact checking that's what he said fact check and ask these people which led me to believe immediately that motherfucker got in this little bro bro circle with these guys because it's all it, i i one thing i took away from this for sure is that there is a brotherhood with that group of guys totally and i know he said you guys aren't gonna like don't say anything i'm gonna deny it I talked to my the guy I used to work with uh, for media when I was in my semi-pro fucking days of wherever the fuck X football I don't even know, NFX yeah. what is it? XFL <laughs> and uh, it's it's my word against hers so you guys aren't going to say anything right that was so clear because you don't you don't know that you've said it to every guy on that cast and then go we need to do some fact checking because Nick's not that smart <laughs> like he's. He thought, oh, he thinks he is smart. Yep. So he fucking pulled the room and said, you guys are going to say anything, right? Rams has found himself in a little debacle where he knew, oh, I have a chance to be like, bro, come on, keep it 100. And now everyone's like, that's cool that Rams has did that. Well, Rams is not a very selfless guy. Yeah. So I assume it kind of benefited him totally. a little bit. And this is more to my point is like at the end of the day, most people are going to do what benefits them, right? And they're not going to do it the right way necessarily. They're going to do it the selfish way and the way they know how to do it. So like, sure, it would have made a lot more sense for Hannah to be like, hey, this is how I feel and this is what I'm working on. It would have made, as we talked about when it happened, a lot more sense for Nick to be like, you know what? I fucking, I wasn't super pumped when I saw you the first time. Uh, Clearly I was... (laughs) An idiot because you look beautiful. Like to to own it. Yeah, and he could have like, been like, "I really." And he, nobody would have given girl, him you shit know? because she was she was a little overweight. Like she's not. She's beautiful, but like it. So like, yes, he should have said, "Yeah, I wasn't super attracted to you when I first saw you." Um, but whatever changed and da 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 da. da. She should have said X Y Z. Ramses should have said X Y Z. They all should have, could have, would have. We all should have, could have, would have. The fact that only one of them managed to pull it off is should show us how difficult it is to do in real life because it doesn't really happen and how extraordinary difficult things are when there's cameras in your face and the entirety of Twitter is fucking railing on you thinking that they know more than you and they've done all the sleuthing and they think this and they think that and you're just like fuck man i need to i need you either need to win so you, or you're backed into a corner and it's hard to keep your cool and it's hard to keep your composure and think like well what did my pr training guy say and how am i going to best get my point across you just want to fight it's fight or flight you either fight or you fucking bail I, i'm not saying that all of that 
it, that the stakes aren't really high and it's really hard to keep your composure. I'm just saying, I like Hannah. I don't think Hannah's a terrible person. Me neither. I think she's gotten a really bad rap because yes, she did act like a petulant know-it-all child. And that behavior does need to change if she yes. wants to grow up and be a dope ass adult and get a partner that's not going to want to murder her for, you know, all constantly being like, you did this wrong. I know more than you, all that stuff. And I'm just saying if she wanted to, I'm not saying it's easy. I never said it was easy. I said if she wanted to land her point, that's how she should have done it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, in a perfect world. Yes. Everyone would have came out there. Ramses would have dressed no, in a black No, I'm not even talking suit. about everyone. I'm talking about if Hannah wanted to land her point that I am changing and I'm doing my best, yeah. then you can't, when you're trying to sh just expose him for who he is, you can't use your bad behavior to do it. Yeah, I mean, I still think everyone could have taken a slice from that book. A thousand percent. But yeah. if we're just talking about Hannah and Nick right now, because Nick did deserve to get fucking put under a microscope and be like, well, that wasn't really cool either. And you're not so, aw, shucks, are you? You're not so, oh, Hannah, you've been, you know, ripped a new asshole on yeah. social media on the daily. And I want everyone to know that she's a really good person. You are literally feeding the machine that's hurting her. Yeah. And so when someone calls you out and says, but I was really hurt by the way that you spoke about my physicality, don't lie about it. Yeah, I would have, if I'm her, I would have said like, but I know that I acted this way, be... but like, it's because like pretty immediately I was told that you basically called me dog shit ugly. And so all I'm doing is like trying to see if like, maybe you can like me because you, you really liked me in the pods. Like maybe you will fall in love with me. So I'm hanging in there, but everything that you're doing wrong is literally the dumbest shit I've ever seen. And in the back of my mind, I know what you said about me. So I, I'm out of my element. I like, I'm trying to help you and get you somewhere and forgive you and keep all of that out. But I can't because you're talking shit and you're a moron. Listen, I'm going to put it another way. And I'm not saying this is right, but plenty of people have gone from nothing, ended up on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, didn't get picked, got in a limo, said to the camera, I just don't know if I'll ever be loved. Ended up as The Bachelor and everyone fucking knows their name. So this shit works. Sometimes it works, you find a wife. It almost always works that you In can fucking fashion. make yourself famous yeah. and get a get a job out of this, right? Mm -hmm. So it might be douchey, but it's clearly worked. We've been doing it for 20 years. <laughs> uh, like, that was a goal for Nick. So let's say Nick's going on that goal. He goes through this process. A year later, he's fucking looking good, and the chick is getting railed. This might work out for me. I will stop now and say it did not work out, bro. It backfired for you because you weren't prepared to be the most popular person on Love is Blind or on any fucking reality show because you're a fucking idiot, right? You're too dumb. That being said, your last ditch effort is I cannot let this fucking get out. If it gets out that I called this chick a fucking fat hog grenade mm -hmm. nasty whatever... I'm done. And right now, I'm not done. Right now, I could squeak out of this shit and be like, listen, man, everybody on the internet, you guys are being so mean. Hannah's great. And if Hannah did fucking be like, yes, but maybe not say that or just try to be a better person, he fucking skates right out of that reunion and on his way to maybe one of the most popular dudes on Love is Blind and gets a second chance at Love is Blind and maybe gets to go on Dancing with the Stars and maybe fucking does some podcasts and like, yeah, I did it. Yeah. If that shit gets out, Way though, it's a fucking wrap. And it got out. And he tried so hard the last few minutes to be like, please, guys, I just don't let it. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say it. OK, well, you might have not said that. exact. Like what he was doing was the. Just a classic fucking liar thing. It's Wait, like, so are you? Is your point I didn't that say that? It's the Clint, Bill Clinton, right? I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> okay, well, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't say exactly the words that you're saying that I said. I oh, didn't wait, say so, grenade. I said bomb. Hold on. So is your point <laughs> that 
he 100% would have skated by if Hannah didn't approach it the way she did. I don't did. think he would have, but I think in his head, that's what, like, what, what no, he, he was holding on to, why he was denying it, is oh, because he was still hope, he still had hope that he was going to get out of this as oh, yes. the one that on the internet everyone loves, and she's the one that everyone hates. And 100%. Hannah knew all and of this, and that's why she that. fucking went for it. She probably thought, I'm not going to say anything, I'm going to lay low, yeah, like, just say the thing, like, I'm not going to apologize, because I'm not apologizing to that motherfucker i already did 15 times when i keep finding out more shit i can't i cannot be a principled person and apologize to this guy again i'm gonna say i'm too direct i could work on my she was she was using all the things to not say she finally did end up saying sorry but she worked her ass off to not use the word sorry for a, a good amount of time it was when she saw that he was gonna not only skate but e get even bigger she knew in that moment because she is not stupid she knows exactly Hannah's what smart. you know she is smart she knows exactly what you know this guy's if i have to watch this guy on dancing with the stars if i have to watch this guy be an, become an influencer on shit that i'm buying that now i'm not gonna buy it anymore because i'm not gonna like and i need that shit it's good face cream like yeah. she's thought of she's all these like, things and she's like wait i cannot bust through that pantry again okay what? and so she i think that she did the right thing ultimately because she, that is the thing that cracked everybody open well, it, it wouldn't have happened right she, if, he, if he would have shut life, the fuck up but she, she wouldn't i don't know if she would have like see i think she would have brought up the fact that he spoke really poorly about her but they were kind of like moving on it was like the last of the, and he, they, they went couple by couple. So she might have not let the entire show go by without interjecting, but like their portion was just about over. And Nick and Vanessa are pretty good at being like, we'll get, no, not yet you like we're getting, you know? And so if yeah. their thing was done, it might've been done. And they wasted so much time on these old couples. First of all, I had planned to go back and watch. I'm not watching now because now I know all these people that are already married or aren't married. And there's only two couples and only one of those was couples like was married. Three of them. The well, either way, you either know she's married or she's not. not like married. those no, are both I think reveals. they only did two couples and there's seven seasons. So you've got you don't worry. You have yeah. I don't know. I didn't appreciate it. And you wasted my time because I don't care about them. No one really cares about even the people that watch the show. I've seen that everywhere. They're like. Who gives a shit? You guys had so much more time. There were so many. It wasn't that you covered everything we wanted and then you like let these other people. You didn't ask any questions about so many things and you didn't dig. You didn't press. You knew they were lying. The Ashley Tyler thing, like I'm sure every, no, like, no one is satisfied with that because everyone, everyone yeah. that does any one percent of sleuthing knows that there's this other story. Wait, can we go on to um, Alex and what's his name? Because I think that was just such a dumpster fire. Talk about a ship going nowhere. Oh, wait, did I have anything more to say about Hannah? I just want to tell Hannah that I, I don't even care what she did now. Like I just still. Well, oh, this is what I want to say, Marissa. I thought did us all a service by bringing up that comparison of, she said. You you're a golden retriever. Right now, we're all yelling at the golden retriever. Nick, yes. you're not a fucking golden retriever, okay? You fucked up. We've all fucked up. Like I I just am so glad that people not cuz sometimes people need a very simple analogy yeah. just to know like what's going on here. Yeah, and no, she I love that. Called also. him a golden retriever. You you want to be this guy. You're not that guy. It's fine. None of us are. No. And but it yeah. here's Steven what it is. Steven outed yeah. you. They asked yeah. Steven point blank did he say that and Steven's like, "Yeah." He literally yeah. said, "Yes." I know. Yes. That was hilarious. He didn't even take a beat. He was like, "Yeah." Of course you said it. Yeah. We and all because know you said it. because that is the thing about Steven. Yes, obviously he's a cheater, which is the biggest form of lying. Like one of the biggest, the the like the biggest, like uh, the worst kind of lying is cheating because it it's not just like a lie of like oh I got the car wash no I didn't. It's like a lie that just fucks a woman up for possibly years and years afterward. It becomes a residual effect that like her future husband has to deal with. Like it is just a massive mess. And but dudes, the guy like, otherwise is too. so like yeah no I did that. Yeah, like, and also, I've been doing this. Like, I've always been fascinated with him. You know that I've always just been like, he's not the uh, the average cheater of, like, he's not the L.A. cheater. He is like a case study of cheater. Well, it's he's very Jax Taylor, in my opinion, because what other cheaters love more than anything is when someone else has fucked up. Yeah. So that they can get the heat off of them. Yeah. And they can 
go back and keep right. cheating. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. you'd be like, yeah, but look at that guy's pissing on the couch. That's actually, God, I never thought about that because Jax will often say things you're like, you didn't even need to admit that part, dude. What is wrong with you? But he'll he'll talk about everyone else's. Like, yeah, but then well, he'll, but this yeah. person was also stealing money from Lisa while yeah. you know she wasn't. Well, she was in Vegas opening up a new restaurant. Yeah. They were taking cash out of the register. Yeah, and I just think that for Stephen, for him to be like, yeah, hundred percent, because he's like, I'm I'm already going down. I'll say the truth about you because it only lessens yeah. the blow on me. Yeah, and I just listen. I think. Uh, the, the Hannah and Nick of it all, it's like nobody's winning there. Hannah needs to knock it as much hate on the internet. And I'm not saying that he needs to get hate, but he deserved to get a little ass whooping there because it's just, you said all this he shit. Wep- I, a girl on TikTok said he weaponized his stupidity. Like that's next level. Like you have made, you have turned this whole, like you've gotten everything because you are a total moron. Because you're just all shucks. Yeah. And you're not all shucks. <laughs> yeah. This isn't Mayberry. Yeah. And that's not who you are. Yeah. Um. So Hannah, you have got your whole fucking life ahead of you and you're brilliant and you could have everything. So if you could just get control of this one thing, and it's going to be a motherfucker because clearly you're having a big fucking problem with it. So this is going to be a huge mountain for you to climb. But if you do sky's the limit unstoppable yeah or by the way we Just all have our mountains so. find a dude that's not an idiot and then you don't know no, those, those tendencies behavior. aren't exclusive to just to dumb dumbs like she's her she's best pretty friend's next getting level. it her family's getting yeah. it anyone she works with is getting Hi, yeah. it that's who she's she mean to marissa yeah, who's mean to yes, marissa, who's mean to marissa? <laughs> yeah. that's what i'm saying she's got See, a, I, I, I don't know if this is the show for you <laughs> exactly wait okay who's the next one uh tim and Alex, I honestly can't even talk about them long because they, it was a ship going nowhere. It was such a dumpster fire. It's like, guys, just realize you actually hate each other. Yeah. You had a flash in the pan, infatuation with one another. You both wanted to be in love. You speak completely different languages, love and other. Mm -hmm. And it's a fucking nightmare from start to finish. He's going to go find another girl exactly like her, though. I think he really got off on saying, I did this, I did this, you did nothing, I did this, I did that, I told you about your attire, you, and he got his stories all mixed up, like about, well, she didn't include that she was out in the, to the club till four in the morning, she's like, that wasn't that day, and she was so calm, and yeah. I was so proud of her, Hannah. That's what I'm talking there, there's about. There's a girl for you to hang out with <laughs> for the day. Yes, take some, Alex, take some, she nailed it. Yeah. She hit all of her points she they weren't didn't going anywhere she didn't interrupt Mm-mm. she didn't get all crazy but like let's just use one of their things as an example as to this is what happens when you really do love the person and you guys are compatible and this is what happens when you don't when she had to take a nap because she was going to work and they had talked for five hours whatever it was she was exhausted if you're really in love with someone and you support your partner and you guys have great communication you would say I am so sorry. I know you guys drove so long. This obviously this experience is a lot. I have to be up till three in the morning and I've been up since six. Is it okay if I just step out and take a nap? Clearly we're going to be family. We have forever to keep talking. Yeah. Would that be terribly rude of me? Is that okay? And your partner should jump in right away and be like, babe, it would be lovely to have some one-on-one time with my parents. I got you. Go take your nap. Yeah, you guys are fine. There's three of you all live together your whole life. I think they're going to be fine on their own. She could have said all that and he should have returned it with all of that. Yeah, of course. But because they actually are massively incompatible and at their core don't like who the other person is, they took it as a personal affront. They took it as you don't like my parents. You don't respect me. This is what I did for you. And that's not love. Love is not keeping score. It's not tit for tat. It's none of that stuff. It's supporting your partner, helping them get what you know they need yeah. and believing them when they tell you, I promise you I'm running on fumes. It would mean everything if I could take a nap. Yeah. But you, you want to know why she maybe didn't do all the perfect things is because she said that the day before is when they met her dad. He said all the things to the dad, gave the letter. Two hours after the dad leaves, he tells her, I'm having some doubts. So she says, if I seemed a little upset, it's because I was, and now I'm having to be in front of your parents and mind all my P's and Q's and be perfect and whatever. I, when, like, when you say that they hated each other, I, I think that she got there 
finally, but I think that she really liked him and wanted it to work. I think they were totally mismatched, but I do believe that he had the problems with her and she was trying to, what you don't think? <laughs> oh, because I know that you think she's a spoiled brat. No, but she, they knew that something was wildly amiss. Right, but women always Cabo. know. We always know things are wildly amiss a lot of the time. Right, and, and that's we'll when you get there. out of the car. No, we don't get out of the car, Courtney. You don't keep driving We're to the destination. The- you don't. You get out. Right, but you have. Oh, 100%. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that they're not the same. He didn't try. He gave her like one strike and then that was it. I don't think that she was working from that place. I think that everything that happened and the reason that they're not together today, he he is the one that made the decision. She did not break up with him and she still says to this day, I did not know. You think I would have been eating fucking chicken strips at the table, like at the bar, like behind him if I thought I was getting dumped right then? Yeah. Like, so I think that she would have stuck it out. He, again, as all these guys have done, did her a favor because she probably would have been like, oh, we can figure it out or, you yes. know. And when when she says the thing about, I put my hand over your mouth because you wouldn't stop. You w- and I didn't want it, us to get in trouble. Yeah. Sometimes he'll do that by the door. And I'm like, don't tell everyone our business. So I know what she was trying to do. And she even said it. You look so great because I was constantly covering yes. for you. I think as we've all done she was painting red flags white, but she knew that this was not because yeah. when he had really good moments, I think they were really sweet and intimate and lovely and like, oh my God, he gave me the bracelet from his sisters and they're they've passed and the letter to my dad. It's like he had these great big moments, but all of the day-to-day moments, I think for her were probably irritating to brutal, somewhere on that scale of like kind of annoying or like god dude why are you like this just stop like okay yeah. you got the groceries you want me to build you a, a monument in, yeah. in your honor like yeah and i just feel like they were incompatible yeah definitely definitely incompatible i think she handled herself beautifully i think he was yeah. a mess going yeah. in circles leo and Brittany were a, a, a shining star uh, like garrett and taylor were garrett and taylor are Still amazing. Love them. Yeah. So happy do for you them. Do you want to say anything about oh, Tim yes. and want- Alex? No because you guys are just in a... I won't tear I you think, apart unless you see something real dumb. <laughs> yeah. I think that he's a lot, probably strict and stern and probably like, mm, no, this is how things are going to be done in my world, in my life, with my people and my family and whatever. I think you guys are giving that girl way too much credit. She handled herself. She's probably pretty intelligent. She does come from a, uh, a pretty affluent family, so it doesn't surprise me. But that girl is a fucking brat. Her apartment is disgusting like what i got from those two is <laughs> that dude's pretty strict and like has rules and she's like mm, fucking do rules and that's <laughs> what happened that's why it they're not compatible <laughs> because she's like i'm not fucking doing anything i'm taking a nap 3 a.m that was the one she said it oh i i bartend Oh, well, I only did it that one time. And while, I work in while they fashion. were in the, no, she said while that was they the were, first time I was doing it since. Yeah, they like were since they were home. Okay. And I'm not buying it. I think she's a daddy's girl, which totally fine. Uh, I don't think she probably had to do a ton. Um, I think she's well spoken because she is from the family, but she doesn't do anything. And that guy's like, are you going to do anything? Are you going to fucking sleep and eat? And fucking talk shit all the time and tell me I'm a bitch. That like, was awesome when she said, so I told him he was a little ass bitch. Yeah. And like, so <laughs> like, then he I would was never like, say that to you. I don't so want you. I'm like, not that's fucked this. up, but I Nobody still thought it was hilarious. I'm not saying wife. that she's the most perfect peach on the tree. I'm just saying. You guys seem to be pretty pumped and like so in proud com- of how she handled In comparison to like, him. Yeah. In comparison to him. I feel like she handled all of the situations, at least also, forward Also, she's facing. the one that misunderstood yeah. the 4 a.m. He said it before her, before they went and saw her parents. And she was like, what? I didn't do it. That's the wrong night. And no, he's like, he before did, your she, parents? And she was like, uh, anyways. No. No, I understood. The 4 a.m. thing said. was before was for before his parents. His parents. Oh, I'm sorry, before her parents. It was before her parents, um, which is, has nothing to do with the nap. He's acting no, like she was out until they, 4 a.m. Those things were back to back. 4 a.m., her parents' day. Yeah. Straight into their parents' day, his parents' no, day. No, they then him they go to dinner, and then the next morning his parents come. Right. So that 4 a.m. night was not. Right, but I think that's, all I'm saying is I think 
I think that's what he meant because when she was like, it wasn't that night. It wasn't that it wasn't the night before. And he was like, no, before your parents. And like, there's a shot of like him saying that. And then it just goes straight. It but just again, passes it right It wouldn't over. matter though. Like it wouldn't be relevant to the thing that they were arguing about. But so here's like, the thing. This is why uh, 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 Vanessa Lachey was just like, we're done with the checking of the bags conversation. Like you guys can hammer this out. Yeah. Iron the shit out. We can't keep going in circles because, and that's why my original point is like they're just so ill suited for each other. Because I actually do think Mike is right in the sense that he yeah. seems he seems like you rescue that dog if you want to go on hikes all day, and you rescue the other dog if you want a snuggle buddy on the couch while you're watching Love Is Blind. Yeah. They're two different animals. Okay, yeah. we're looking at two different pets here, and I think that. He was so savage with her when he was explaining to her why he had to end things that, like, you could have just said. He's 12, though. Yes. And she has an attitude. She has a little bit of an attitude. She does have. She, listen, she did have a little bit of an attitude. So, like, if I'm trying to say something and, and you're coming at me with an attitude, not that you have an attitude, but, like. I, I will fucking get triggered really fast, just me personally. So, like, I'll have all the great intentions to be like, let's have a conversation. And if I get a little bit of, like, mm, it's fucking on. Like, you want to, mm, then let's fucking, mm. And that's me. Which and I is think that's problematic. A bit of him. I'm not saying it's <laughs> not. I'm not saying he's amazing and she's so bad, but like, everyone's a piece of shit. The, the, that's, that's what, what's her not name? What like, I'm that saying. was the best comment ever said on any fucking reunion show what? probably any reality show, probably every any tv show what when marissa was like you fucked up she fucked she fucked up i fucked up we all fuck up yeah like that was the thing after, i don't know what she was saying but like when she said that like nick you fucked up hannah fucked up i fucked up we all fuck up and everyone was like Rah! and it's true we all fuck up. Yeah, some so worse like, than other though. So if we yeah, have to pick a team, sure. I'm going team Alex that's between my those point, two. Because I just thought he was so quick yes. to be like, Bye. and that's why I'm never speaking to you, yeah, looking at it didn't you, even make or sense. being in your atmosphere ever again for one second, and I would <laughs> cut you if it were legal. <laughs> we like said. it was just so. It was what he said was, "I'm glad we can both agree that I'm never speaking to you again." He didn't even say they didn't agree on anything unless they cut that part out. But like there was no agreement there and then for him to say i'm glad that we can both agree that i'm not speaking to you ever again i don't I, you you would just say that we're not speaking to each other ever yes. again like either way like he just was he was incapable he did not have the wherewithal yeah to know how to get out of that with any i mean it Decorum. was been so easy just to be like this has been fast i really thought that we were a great match what has transpired has showed me like I just don't think it's gonna work. But when you say these different. things, you're like, oh well, you're twelve. Okay, who's our next? Well, I mean, there's Brittany and Leo, and I just wish that they would get back together. Because Honestly, they're like a match made. In they heaven. really are, and I feel I feel like I even said that from the get that like these two actually are the best paired totally. match out of everyone in a way where like they're not going to be immediately but they if they have a half a brain they will find them their way back to each other because they really are exactly what the other person is looking for do you know what culture they would really benefit to have been born into any culture that doesn't arrange marriage <laughs> if they came with the mindset that like no our parent our families have gotten together yeah we know that like we've got to make it work there must be something redeeming about him something redeeming about her because everyone met the councils came together yeah and put us in the mix i actually think in time like what you're saying they would have figured stuff out because he's got enough of what she wants and she's got enough of what he wants that if they came from this oh, mentality of saying. like no, our parents put us together in this yes. arranged marriage. Like, we're going to make it work. It's what people in their 40-somethings know. Know your role. Like, stop pretending that you're going here. You're not going there. You're not doing the work. And who that says takes they're a, so great? I know. Who says they're so great? But, like, it's a lot of work to go there. And, like, I don't think you have it in you to yeah. do that work. So find the person who fills the part that you're not going to yeah it's uh you know and maybe they will uh, listen can i say one thing about yeah. her boobs <laughs> she is gorgeous i when when i hear people use the word bolt-ons 
That's what you think of? I n- there are so many great boob jobs in this town. Can, oh, you almost can't even tell. No, you can't even tell. She, I'm in pain looking at her chest. Same. I'm with you. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> we had a couple comments being like, I really love the male perspective. <laughs> Well, you asked for it, you got it. Toya. Yeah, yeah. Is this the male perspective Spectre that you want? Because there's other males. I'm just teasing. It's your company. <laughs> We're just dumb labor. Yeah. Anyway, that's our wrap up on yeah. Love is Blind. But we didn't even talk about Garrett and Taylor at all. Well, because there's nothing to talk about. Was oh, it really? Wait, but. No uh, one even talked about the text message or the. Yeah, like that was weird. They just, that they, they didn't bring it up at all? It? Nothing. So. Eh, Cuz they can't. They can't take down their one. That's what was my theory too. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you said. This is their the perfect couple. They can't take them down. And by the way, I'm fine with it. I love them. Let, let them I live. do, but I'm I good. you remember how the last episode I'm like that mom it's literally the day of the wedding they're at like the event space and she's going, "I mean, I would never tell you how to live your life or I would never we just want what's like, I mean, you're going to do what you're going to do. He fucking picked up on it. That guy is a mama's boy. They did not move to San Diego, even though that was her one thing. She was very clear and upfront about it. I understand things change and she's going to they're negotiating or whatever. They come up with another place. D.C. sucks. But isn't she is she a lobbyist? She worked in D.C. for like four years. So, so she might have like. Yeah, she has friends but she, there. Yeah, but she was stuff. over it. I don't like Garrett as much as I did. There was a vibe I got from him at that reunion that I was like, A, mama's boy. B, when they were talking about when Hannah and Nick were finally getting into their the root of what's really going on here. And he decides to interrupt it with like, this is very immature. And I'm just counting the seconds until it's done. Nobody asked you. You're not the moderator here. We're going couple by couple. You'll get your chance. You'll get the chance to tell us where you got your Moroccan fucking golden blazer, which he looked like shit at that reunion. Uh, his outfit was terrible. Terrible. His was terrible. What is this gold? Who are you? Ice Cube? Like you? But this- I love the hair. I, I'm. I don't love it. I don't love anything love about it. I like the hair. No. Are you he's being serious? Putrid. Hun- he's like <laughs> disgusting. And um, I think that Taylor's got her work a little bit more cut out than we could have imagined. But I. That's just. That, that was just my vibe from him last night was we really we I think that we did this to ourselves, though, because we basically called him perfection from day one. And then when he didn't when he showed any kind of like anything, which is still a thousand times better than anybody else on that stage. It's my bad that I thought you were going to be so perfect. And now but, you're just human. To and me then now. also like. You know, Nick. Nick knew somebody was going to be the most famous person, and fucking Garrett became. Garrett fell into that role, and now he's got the hair and the fucking George Michael beard and the crazy outfit, and now you're into fashion. You're a fucking nerd, dude. <laughs> like you, yeah. You're I'm a numbers nerd. nerd at that. Like the nerdiest of the nerds. Yeah. Now you're into fashion, and you're do with the. Bro, come on. I have no problem with him. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with him being in fashion, but be good at it. The one other thing that he did was before Tyler could even get anything out, he's doing his half ass explanation performance of like the kids thing. And Garrett stops, goes, We got your back, brother. Hush, we'll get to you. He's telling us a lie right now. You know it. I know it. We all know it because like there's two kids that no one has spoken about. And I just felt like he kept inserting himself into places like he's like going to be like the bro, I got your I back guy. And it's just like, hopefully, you know that you have his back because he's lying and you know why he's lying. But he's still lying to us. So just stay out of it. it. Like you just didn't need to interject there. You didn't need to interject in the places that you did. It was a little much. And but so during his uh, montage of, oh, the last year of our perfect, happy marriage. Totally great. You saw. Here he is. He's got the short hair in the pictures. Then they're off in like Italy or wherever the hell they went. I don't know. And then he, there's a point in the montage where he hits like a, where his hair's just a little bit grown out on top. He's got some, he's got a little mustache. His transformation should have stopped right there. I agree. I agree. I said it too. And I'm not a mustache guy. Yeah. Not but. a mustache girl ever. Hate mustaches. Have always found them very weird. And what are you looking at me for? I never had a mustache. I couldn't even grow I'm just one saying in. that it was an odd thing that I yeah. never one time in my life have I gone, I'm so glad you have the mustache. Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck looks great with a mustache. I still think he would look 
better without it. Mm. He looked hot as fuck with it. And our moms were super into it. He that was, was probably so- also a reason. My mom and my aunt were like fucking gaga over him. And I just was like, you guys are disgusting. My dad grew a mustache because, because my of, mom, liked your mom loved so it. Much. Oh, okay. my God. Oh my, god. oh my god! Okay, so anyway, that's that's it. I am, I'm expired on Love Is Blind because yeah, it was no, so bad I, I, I'm so year. glad that we got it all out. And what the last thing I have to say just about the whole thing in general is I cannot believe. You know how I told you that there was like the there's the Hannah rage. Marissa has it now too. Because she stuck up for Hannah. People are going fucking batshit on her. It, I mean it's. By all girls. I feel like, listen, we do the recaps here, okay? I have not told anyone to go fuck themselves, to die in a fire, that you're the dumbest, you're just as dumb as a box of rocks. None of that stuff. Am I giving my opinion that, yes, I think you could have done better here? We tell people they're as dumb as a box of rocks, but that's okay. Yes, and I think there's a little bit of comedic leeway there. Yeah, okay? that's what I think. And if you're Nick... That's the best thing we could say. And by about the way, it. I haven't said Nick is dumb as a box of rocks, but I don't think said he's. Some things. I, I, I said he's not, a, a, you know, the president of Mensa. I think that was my exact quote, which I stand by that fact. Um, but my point is, it's one thing to be like, oh, I strongly disagree with that, or that seems like an uneducated statement, or you could have done better here, or why did you have to yell so? Like pointing those things out in the manner in which, at least, I feel like I'll just be responsible for myself that I've pointed things out is very different than saying exactly what you were just saying. Like, die in a fire, you yeah. dumb whore. Yeah. Stop talking this way to people. I was trying to think back at literally any moment that Marissa was an asshole of any sort. The closest she got to just being assertive yeah. was when she was like, telling Nick, like, you said what you said. Like, everyone, you told everyone, like, this is... If anyone's insulting anyone's intelligence, it's it's And by the it's way, Nick. he did say it. She and was he just did say it. And she was it. just like, are you guys going to just say nothing? Like, I, I can't imagine what this girl did to make you all so irate with her and forget that she has been completely devastated. For, I completely agree. I, I don't think she deserves any No. Hate. Like, I the mean, none of them deserve these things, but she really oh, deserved yeah, no, 100%. nothing. Like, I can't find anything to tie it to, same. you know? Yeah. She's just literally turning the volume up on something he already said. Yeah. So if anything, get upset with him. Yeah. Yeah. So that season is a wrap. We're fucking glad about it. And and I'm glad that like this is going to be our longest fucking recap for Love is Blind all season. But like I really had a lot that I needed to get off my chest. And I hope that the next season cast well it won't matter because they've already shot. You know they already have two in the can and they're shooting again for Miami like soon like they're casting for that right now so two in the can already how do these people stay off the radar for that long like how do you expect people to stay inside and not show that they're married or that's that's a big commitment i wonder if they pay them very impressive when you said they have two in the can do you know what that reminds me of what remember on national lampoon's european vacation they're on the plane and the flight attendant comes up to clark w griswold and says oh can i get you something to drink sir and he goes oh yeah i'd like a coke and she goes would you like that in the can? Oh, no, here's just fine. Oh, that's right. It's <laughs> only one of the best lines in cinematic history. Okay, can we talk about my favorite show now? Let's talk about The Golden Bachelor. Okay, but only if you start off with those magical words. You were right. You were totally right. Totally right. 